know, we have some of the best artists come on this show sometimes. And, you know, this week we've already showcased a bunch of different people. Studio M, Emily joins us. First off, just tell us what you brought in before we get started. I brought in a little bit of everything, what we do at the studio. I brought in ceramics, paintings, glass, lampwork glass, and metalwork. Yes. <laughs> That's, no, this is, some of this stuff is really cool. Some of the stuff I've actually never seen before. I know I've seen some like the ceramics and glass before, but some really nice artwork. So tell me about Studio M first. Uh, Studio M is an art studio and we collaborate with other artists and we make all different kind of things. We make fabricate a lot of parts, a lot of uh, metal parts for jewelry, uh, gla uh, the glass parts for jewelry and or sculpture and we just fabricate art. Now, that's awesome. So how'd you get into this? I mean, I always ask that because I'm always fascinated to find out like what got you inspired or interested in all this? My mother was an artist. Okay, that, that's, that's a good one. And, and, and what did, where did she do her art? At LSU and Tulane. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Why don't, you want to show us some of the stuff that you brought in? Because this is yes. really cool. Where do you yes. want to start? Uh, let's start, we can start with the, uh, I like the story pot right here. Uh, it's a ceramic piece, Whoa. it's a ra raccoon ceramic piece. I thought I broke it for just a moment. No. I I broke it. <laughs> no. I saw that and I was like, oh man. It's a container and it tells a story. So what's the story? The, the story is uh, just a little slice of my life uh, when I started doing yoga practice. And so there's a yoga pose here on top, a sculpture of a young lady doing a yoga pose. But it's also my house out at the lake and my friend Jimmy Turner, who plays the guitar, who's a local artist as well and teacher, uh, my dog Moon Pie, the house my parents built with their own hands, and Lake Castle and the dock. Wow. And swimming in the lake and just, you know, memories and stories. And so that's a so lot. So this of, one definitely means a lot to you. It does. And I, that theme kind of runs through a lot of the pieces, the symbolism and the connected stories. So here's my question. Do you sell stuff like this or is it just stuff to come look at? I do sell stuff like this. Okay. Do you sell something like this or is this one your, a personal one? This is, that is, I, I'll, it's it, all for sale. It's, it's all for sale. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, all right. So let's show some of this stuff. You also do some necklaces. I see right here, some glass work as well. Talk about a little bit of this. So the glass work is a lamp working technique. All the glass beads are made on a torch one by one, and then they go into a kiln for annealing, and that allows them to have more strength and durability and last for years and years and years. They could last for a thousand years or 3,000 years. So how do you decide what you're gonna do for the day, and then how long does something like this take? Sometimes I just, make what I feel like making. Maybe I have a new, new tool or something or have a symbol that I want to put out there that has a message and or their custom orders for another, uh, another local studio I'm fabricating for. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Also, paintings as well, right? Or is this? Yes. Yeah, this is, and then actually you, maybe you'll recognize the, the dog. Okay. And the lake. So you see this, the, it's the same thing. Yeah, the, the same type of thing. He's see, sitting on the deck here, and this is the lake in the background that you saw on the piece of pottery, and this is my dog. Yeah, and how long does something like this take to make? This probably took a couple of weeks. Wow, okay, so this is not like a day sitting thing. This is this is mm -hmm. taking a lot of time. I mean, you talk about, you know, an eight hour work, work day, it takes you about three weeks. Well, yes, because you, you paint something and then you just have to sit on it sometimes and think about, you know, what other colors that you want or where you're gonna mm -hmm. go. And you might work on other stuff in between uh, before you rush into something. Absolutely. All right, so if someone wants to find Studio M or your work, where would they go? Studio M. <laughs> Studio M. In Madison. All right, we also got her website up there, her phone number, Instagram, Facebook. You can go check out all that stuff. Please do, because Studio M, this is, this is some really, really nice work that you got going here. 